Hello everyone, so today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to make a logo. A lot of people need logos nowadays just for Trons, just for their attires, whether it be uh, this or that. It's something that's commonly needed now. And the reason why I've been making these tutorials is to give back to people and let them know some of my uh, stuff that I've learned on my own. I was making stuff and uh, I've been doing GFX for about three years now. And I like to go by A's. You're watching the Roblanian Network, and this is about the second tutorial that I've done. I want to be able to show you guys how to make something uh, just for universal use. So, for those who don't know, you gotta, you gotta. I need you to know how to know the basics of PDN. It's a free software, and it's very simple to learn. I, any tutorial I can teach you. What we're gonna be doing here is we're gonna need about like two plugins. I'll link them below. They're very simple to use, and they're very self-explanatory. Let's click New. Right. What do we want to do here? So I'm I'm making sure that we're shooting at 12080 by 720. You can change this to 19 um uh to to any size really. You could do 512 by 512. You could do uh 9280 by 1080 if you want. This is 1080p and this is 720p. So here we have one when this spawns in, just make sure to click on it and then click delete. Very easy. Um, you get rid of everything. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to need your own fonts. Uh, let's go on dead list, right? Let's say we want to create something for Omni Keith Orton. So let's go right here and let's get a nice color here. Uh, sometimes you're going to need to tinker around with this to get a good shade. I would not, you could do like a regular. I like having some uh, some variety. So, for instance, if I do red, I'm going to like go a little bit back. Not to be pink, but to just look different from plain red. Let's go there. Omni, and then we're going to do Keith. Let's just put this over here to the center. Click finish so we can add another thing. And let's do right here. Second, and then we're just going to change the size to put emphasis. Orton. And let's go 140, 144, 192. So it goes all the way here. Omni, Keith, Orton. There we go. So now we have, we already have this very simple, very, uh, you know, self explanatory. You get the vibes. So now we have an orange logo. How else do we, how do we make this better? Well, here's one thing that you're going to need to learn. You need to be able to to select all this. So let's go over here. You're gonna go to the magic wand tool. What this does is is it guess it guesses what you're gonna be selecting. So we're gonna click on this. Regularly, it's gonna click this. And what I used to do before I figured this out is I just selected everything. But that's so much work. I don't want to do that. Well, there's a very simple fix. We're gonna go over here to flood mode, and we're just gonna click on this. And instead of instead of uh, contiguous, we're gonna go to global. Now, when we click on this, well, it's just going to click everything here. And uh, go ahead and click finish. And this is a very nice shape. So I'm, I'll create a new layer and I'll keep this here. But for this for this one right here, I want to I wanna change this. Let's, let's, uh, let's find some texture. So let's go over here. It's very good to get into the habit of using Creative Commons licenses. So just go over here to Tools and then click on Creative Commons. You're not going to have many copyright problems because this is World Wrestling and no one really cares. But I think it's just a good habit to get into. Just uh, for life in general, you know, being able to do these small things can add up. So any any one that you want, I'll click on this one because it matches with our color scheme. We're going to copy and paste this. Sorry, we're just going to paste it. And then we can size it by holding Shift and dragging it to make sure that you don't uh, disproportionalize anything. We're going to be able to just drag it over so we get the maximum quality to match this uh, this text. Make sure we're on global. And then we're going to click on the O or whatever part. And boom, we just selected everything. And now what we can do is we can go over here and as you can see, it's highlighted over. We don't want, we don't care about this part right because we just want the texture so let's go over here and let's click copy now what this does is we've selected the separate parts on this square image here and when we copy and let's delete this go back here when we copy this and we paste it back remember we selected a specific part of that square when we paste it 
well, we're pasting the selected parts. We're pasting the text that we've selected from that image. So now we've created this. And well, now we have a much better texture. It's better than just an orange thing. Now, if you've watched my image tutorial, uh, my GFX tutorial, I did tell you that there is a lot of stuff that you can do with plugins, and I'm going to show you one. I'm going to go down here to effects, and I'll link them below, by the way. We're going to go to object. One thing that a lot of people do is they like beveling all their stuff. I personally do not recommend this. Uh, the one that Bolt Bait has is not a, it's not a great one, and you don't need it for all your text, because sometimes it simply just doesn't look good. You don't need it sometimes. I know for a lot of people, they make white text and they just add a bevel onto it. Just to, this stuff is very generic in raw wrestling and it doesn't have a lot of creative creativeness into it. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to do something very, very, very simple. I'm just going to go over here and I'm going to click on outline object. And we're not going to uh, make sure when you're doing this, you don't click, you don't do something that's on the same color scheme. So for orange, it's a hot color. We're not going to do a red, yellow, or anything because it's barely going to match, right? Maybe a blue, maybe a scion, maybe a, a green. That's one option, right? That's one option. So let's go over here, change the depth maybe to like, yeah, two is good. That's one option. What we can do here is, well, let's go down over here uh, to angled. Let's check that off. Now what we've done is it's only going to show up at one side so if we make the the width more you're gonna be able to see it but it's only going towards this direction now let's go to angle here let's just click on it drag it to like maybe over here maybe over here any place that you want so i'm gonna do right about here now if you do want to use a ha color with the same color scheme which is very common there's no shame like it's that's fine don't do it to where it looks like this, and it, you know, you can't really see the text as much. What we're going to do here is, we're going to click on this, and we're just going to drag it down. That way you can still see the text. And there you go. And then, uh, outline it again. And then, uh, you created something like that. Or if you want to do a contrasting color, you can go over to blue. So let's just go to blue. Let's see, you wanted to select it. Let's go over here to hue. Turn the lights down, and now we've got this. Again, if you do my image tutorial, you know how to do this. It's gonna select everything, and let's do the same color thing right here. So we're gonna go over here to gradient, and we're gonna click on this linear reflected, and we're just gonna we're just gonna create something like this, right? Yeah, but all you need to do is you just need to double click, go over to blend, and then change it to whatever you want so what i'm gonna do here is just experiment look at whatever looks finest let's go to this one darken what you can do now is just flatten it to make sure that we get like the full resolution you could do this which is just select and guess and then click on crop and then you'll get that but if you want the exact part you can just click on this entire thing go over here click on subtract and then change the tolerance. Let's go over to 25%. Make it lower. Uh, sometimes it might select too much. But I'm going to lower it. And then I'm just going to click on here. And then we're going to click on crop. Now you have the full resolution. And now you can just save it. And save it to wherever you want. So, And then there we go. I'm a stand up motherfucker, bullets up on you, just like some rubber. Or oh, I can go and call my brother, you get hoovers on you, and get you pop, just like a bubble, I'm a quiet nigga.